Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. This is a timeless reading for you guys, and this is a message from spirit. So let's see what's going on. So in the past, we have acceptance. This is saying, so be it. So whatever came in, you just said, okay, just, I'm just accepting it. Whatever this is, I'm accepting it. So let's get a little more clarification on what that is. Oh, we have the four coins hanging on to something. Maybe someone's hanging on to you, or maybe something... You know, almost maybe you had to keep something to yourself. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. What about the Justice card? Now, the Justice card is for the present energy. What is the present energy for this sub, um, Justice here? This righteousness of the heart here. So, let's see. We have, ooh, the Chariot. So, there's Justice coming towards you quickly here. Cancer energy. So, expect something to come in really quick. And this is in the present, so there will be just to serve in the present now. And now for um, the hidden influences, we have protection here. The keeper of the essence of the heart. Okay, let's see. And this is temperance. So you are being prote divinely protected by your guides, by the angels. And things will be balance balancing out with the temperance. Could also be a Sagittarius here. Okay. And your um, energy, this is your energy. This is goodness. This is sweetness of the heart. How nice. What do we have here? Ooh. So there's a connection coming in for you guys. Could be a, a business partnership. Could be a love connection. Okay, now, this is the influences of others. And we have generosity. So this is, um, what's this say here? It's donation from the heart so people are being very generous towards you at this time so let's see what we have here we have faith keep the faith this is also could be taurus energy this could be someone being very generous want a commitment with you or um yeah there's a coming together it feels like okay so now um what should you do and we have this radiance here so this is and let's see and unfolding of our essence so this is like you are radiant out so you're this is what's happening with you guys okay we have here Ooh. so just keep on shining the way you're shining you're coming into some um i don't know it seems like independence there there's potential for abundance here okay now the outcome card we have the wisdom and this is um working wait working comes from Silence of a uh, wisdom comes from silence of our heart. <laughs> it's hard for me to read that. Okay, let's see here. And then we have here, ooh, the lovers. Okay, so there's going to be a connection coming together for you, a love connection. Okay, I'm trying to do this as a spirit, a spiritual reading, just to whatever here. But we, yeah, there's a lovers coming in, and we also have the Knight of Swords here. So this is going to be coming in quickly. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be any sign. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to put a charm on this one. I only have one to put a charm on. Okay. And we have here protection, wisdom. Wow, we have protection here and we have wisdom here. And the dragon, that's what that stands for, protection and wisdom. Oh, righty. So now um, let me put the king of swords here so I don't forget. And at the bottom of the deck here, we also have creativity, vision of the source and action. Boy, you are really being very creative this time. I'm um, bringing in um, a lot of, I think, spiritual your intuitions on fire is what i'm feeling here okay so now let's see okay i want to put a couple of these feathers over here i like to have the angels feathers especially when i do a, a reading like this oh i just look at that look what i just said i like to have and came flying out thank you guys i asked for it and they gave it to me <laughs> i didn't expect that but thank you so much okay so now I dropped a couple. I'm going to just look at them real quick. This is like chains. I guess you're breaking the chains because it's it's in reverse. And we have, so there's some kind of hold that might have been on you. You're breaking the chains here. And then, um, I can't see if these cards are, okay. Oh, sorry, you can't see it here. I'm breaking the chains here. So And then also there's a flag. So this is like, maybe you're claiming something with the flag. This is territorial. Maybe you're breaking the chains of someone trying to hold you down. And there's growth here because we have the, the leaf here. I like this. 
this is pretty nice okay i'm putting these back in though because i'm but this is like wow i i said a spirit communication i can't believe i'm gonna put this back in too because i wasn't ready for it but here it is the feather this is faith and we have faith here we have faith here and now we have the feather wow this is nice and the feather is messages is higher knowing a spiritual connection um yeah this is connection between you and spirit this is your intuition this is receiving and messages it's um this is this is receiving validation here after i just moved the feather that's crazy <laughs> okay now let's see now let's clarify here okay so why do we have here this four of pentacles with the acceptance of someone hanging on to something or not sharing or whatever this means to you let's see we have here okay they have the the horse action so there's some kind of action from the past here coming in maybe maybe something that someone's holding on maybe they're now they're moving maybe they were they weren't moving hmm trying to figure this one out with the horse huh so this the horse horse's action so victory this you know the horse is the chariot too so this is fast movement i think there's things are just starting to move you you probably accept it as things as they are and not really doing anything about it so now there's movement okay so now why do we have the chariot here with the justice card for your present energy This is the castle alignment. See, you're aligning. Things are happening. Things are falling into place. Maybe you didn't feel like they were going to. We're going to. Did I, did I say that right? <laughs> we're going to. Okay. But this is, um, this could be fantasy. Um, but this is alignment on here. This is, you know, home of spirit. This is, um, I, I feel, I almost feel like there's inspiration here. This is also, um, you know, this, you have this, you have the castle in the chariot too. So it's like in some, in some of them, you know, I like this. Okay. So now why do we have the temperance card here with the protection and we have hand okay so there's gonna be even give and take here that's what the hand stands for wow so yeah there's a temperance there's a balance here something is coming into balance that wasn't in balance before this is a even like um i want to say um this is divine energy too this communication it's healing so something is being healed here Okay, and now the Two of Cups with the Goodness card, which is your energy. We have, oh, the sun, this is going to make you really happy. This is, um, this is warmth. This is happiness. That's what's coming in for you guys. Vitality. Radiance. This is renewed, maybe renewing the connection here. But this this is uh, very nice. A lot of happiness. Now, why do we have the faith card? What do we have here? Taurus energy and generosity. Okay, so let's see. We have this staff. This is direction, it says on here. So with the staff, this is like the wands. So, hmm. This is power to manifest. This is saying that you can manifest whatever you want. There's generosity here. There's, there's this, um, the faith. Yeah, just, just know that what there's people that are coming in to help you to be generous with you. Um, yeah, this is so nice. What about the radiance here with the nine of coins? We have ooh, the leaf change. There's things changing. So things are changing for the better here. You are there's this is growth. This is a lucky period. I really like this. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is this will be a real lucky time for you with the leaf card showing up. This is um changing of cycles. This is growth. This is um 
is good fortune. This is happiness and prosperity. And this is on the nine of coins. So expect prosperity to be coming in for you guys. Now let's see, what about this wisdom card for the outcome? With the lovers and that Gemini energy and oh we have the sunflower. And this says affirmation, I think, on it. So it's on the stems, so I can't really read it. Yeah, so the sunflower. Wow. Yeah, so there's growth here. There's sunshine. Again, the sun and the sunflower. And the sunflowers need the sun. So this is growing up, uh, reaching out for, reaching out to the sun. This is reaching out to heaven. They grow very tall, of course. And then they always spread their seeds because their seeds, and that's even new growth. So I think your wisdom is uh, affecting a lot of people here as the outcome here. And it's also, if there's a connection coming in, it's going to grow. It's going to blossom. You can expect really something amazing here. Okay, and then we have here, oh my God, the grapes, blessings. Oh, you are being so blessed at this time. This is manifestation, you, your big time manifestation. Make sure you write positive affirmations and keep everything positive because you're coming into a, a time of, a great time to manifest all your desires, blessings coming at you. And it's like, this is, they're all coming your way here. This is beauty and luxury. So I would say with all these cards that you're doing quite well here. Okay, let me just put this to the side here. Let me do the word on this um, King of Swords. And we have here denying lover finish. Okay, I think there's a lover coming in denying that this connection is finished. I don't know if you're going to like that or not. Let me put that up there so you can see it better. But that's what's there. Okay, so now, since we only had one court card there, let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs here? What are the signs? We have Pisces, Taurus, make sure I have room here, Leo. Leo again, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius again. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Pisces, Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. Now for the letters. Let's see what letters we have for initial. First name, last name. Um, if you get both the first and last name and someone has a, a first and last initial, excuse me, and someone has a middle, name you get that initial also all the better past present future also your own we have here f p a e c z v n b h Okay, so the letters we have for you today are F P A E C Z V N B H. Okay, now for the names. Let's see what names want to come off of you. What are the names here? What are the names? Okay, so the names we have for you guys are Nick. Let me put this up more. Nick. Damien. D A M I O N. We have Nancy. We have Rachel. R A C H E L. We have Drake. Kayla. K A Y L A. We have Adrian. 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 Adri Adrian. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A-D-R-I-E-E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. We have Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-S-A. And Leslie, Levi, and Tim. Okay, and look at that. We have 11. Perfect. Okay, guys, now remember these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. 
and um, if it doesn't resonate you know maybe check out another um, placement might resonate more or if you really want to get any more information check out all your replacements uh, replacements <laughs> placements oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so sorry okay I love you guys so much and I really appreciate all you like share subscribe and comments and I hope to see you all again real soon thank you